Joe here. I recently finished a playthrough series of this game, The War for Turkish Liberation. And throughout this playthrough series, I used some player aids that I made for the game. And I just finished reviewing them and uploaded them to uh, BGG and I wanted to show them to you. Uh, the first thing you'll see is the Grand National Assembly Prestige display. The file also includes event cards. This game has event chips, which you pull from a cup, and then you have to go into the rules to see what's the effect of the event. So I made these cards that you can use instead of the event chips. What you do is you arrange all the A cards. Those are the cards that begin the game, uh, and you shuffle them, place them face down, and form a deck, and then you draw uh, the cards the events from that deck. And you see that some of the cards have text in yellow. That's conditional uh, text. So if uh, the condition in yellow applies, then you keep on reading and apply the effect. So here we see the uh, eight cards uh, that are event cards that start the game. And you see here their backs. And the next sheet has four more cards that start the game. One of them is a no event card. I put a uh, picture of uh, Turkish rice pudding there, the Kasandibi. If you draw this card, nothing happens. You return the card to the deck. It may come up again. And then in the bottom, you see the, uh, some of the cards that are B cards. At the beginning of turn seven, you add these cards to the deck. So here we see uh, cards, they're car the cards backs, and here we see four more B cards. In addition to these event cards, I included also uh, these faction cards. This is a game that has two sides. It's for two players, the imperialists and the nationalists. The nationalists are the Turkish nationalists and the Bolshevik Russians. But the imperialist side has a myriad of factions and nationalities, and each has different rules as to replacement points where you place the new units, political restrictions, supply sources, and surrender conditions. So I decided to place that information in a card for each of these factions. So when you're playing the Georgians, you just pull out that card and you have all the information there in handy and you don't have to pull the rule book for that. Fun fact, if you watch the series, you notice that the Armenians held out all seven turns and they were in good shape in those mountains. And they were receiving a lot of replacement points. It happens that when I made these cards, I used them to help me during the game, and I made first the Turkish Nationalists card. And you see the Turkish, before the Grand National Assembly event comes up, they receive four replacement points per turn. And I used this one as a go-by to make the Armenian card, and I forgot to change the replacement point rate. So if you look at the card that I used in the game, it had a replacement rate of four plus one if any of these three Armenian cities were occupied by Turkish forces. So in the seven turns that the game lasted, the Armenians received five replacement points per turn, 35 replacement points when they were supposed to receive only 14. So not only were the Turks, uh, uh, you know, blessed with having the Russians, the white Russians come in uh, in the war, but the Armenians were super supplied. So I, I guess I was playing the United States supplies Armenia variant there. So I'm sorry about that, but those are the pitfalls of late night solo war gaming. So these are the faction cards and you see there's more for Italy, the white Russians and the Caliphate army which is a Turkish army that uh, if you obtain the event, then the, the Sultan is raising an army to fight against the nationalist Turks. So those are the faction cards. In addition, I included here a game turn track. The one that the game brings is just a series of boxes with the numbers one through 11. This one is more evocative. It gives you the season and the year. So you may want to cut this one and use it as an overlay. So these are the things that you will find in the uh, uh, file that I uploaded to BGG. And I hope if you play the game, if you want to give it a, give them a try, let me know. If you see any mistake 
in these uh, play raids, please let me know here in the comment section or in the comment section uh, for uh, in BGG. And as soon as these are uploaded, I will include the link in the description below here. So this is Stuka Joe signing off for now. Thanks for watching.